I want to know a ambitions. You also have something in mind that you want to achieve. But I want to ask this from Rolanda. About all the struggle, the violence, the dangers, the neglect that was being given of choosing to become an artist. What was the key bone, the key word that hold him so strong to be able to reach this end? So that we young coming artists may have a very strong way of motivational factor that also push us. And we know that one day we also do it in a great history for ourselves. Um, Madam Chair, and the dignitaries out there. Um, I want to, in fact, before this sitting, I heard my colleagues talk about microcom. And I, to a point, it was disturbing my ears, actually. I didn't know what it was. But coming here and um, looking at your work, uh, I'm getting more in love with your work. And I'm beginning to see, um, like Papa Kum said, more of you in your work. If you look at the figure itself, stature-wise, it's more of like you. But you see, there's symbols there. We do see these symbols in our uh, clothing, the kente and all that. However, in the work itself, you decided to leave your figure naked and decided to clothe it with your symbols as well. So uh, tell me the art. You know, these symbols are, they, they, they suggest the, 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 uh, the concepts which are ingrained in our people. But you have crowed it in your so-called, uh, your figure, which by itself has been a very bold by, by the principle that the way you've struggled yourself through it to where you are now. So uh, I think you have done well, and I, um, I appreciate that, and I think the up and coming artists must go the same way. Thank you very much. And there's some basic information on brother. And when I told her, brother has designed for Jojo Amani. She sent me an email about saying, what do you mean? Do you mean Amani has designed for brother or brother has designed for Amani? <laughs> Let me repeat that the brother of Usu Ankuma has designed for Jojo Amani. So this is the second lead talent we are celebrating today. Let me give the uh, mic here. I'm Uncle Peter. <laughs> I like your name. Um, your question is, you would like to know what made me stay strong, what motivated me. Well, uh, it was simple to say, Stoic perseverance, consistency, and so on and so forth. You see, I have been thinking a lot about it too. What has made me to say, stay so strong and so long on my journey? I came to realize that what has given me staying power is nothing else. And what manifested us, you see, because I have developed a philosophy of creation. And the philosophy is, it is unconditional love that manifested us. And so it is love that has given me the strength to go on. I have fallen in love with humanity. In so doing, I have fallen in love with myself and what I do. So my advice to all of us here today, fall in love with each other. Love unconditionally. And it will give you wisdom, knowledge, and strength to persevere. Madame says, inner peace. Harmony. So, I hope that answers your question. 
a very deep question, as Amos said. Thank you so much. So, we come back to the nakedness. Uh, nakedness has always fascinated me. Because, you see, in the book of Job, as Ricky whispered to me, naked came I. And naked will I go out. <laughs> so, what's the big deal? Let's the environment in which this naked fever figure moves and has its being. We move and have our being in consciousness. Consciousness is that infinite intelligence that which we call God. And all that we see. It's a reflection of that God, that consciousness, that infinite sea of consciousness that makes us all infinite and eternal beings, children of God, co-creators of all that is. So, this naked figure is you and is me. It is all of humanity. Great questions. I've enjoyed that.